Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be drawing in my sketchbook. This is actually my cream coloured sketchbook that I got from Bailey J and I've been wanting to draw in it more lately because I love the, the cream colour of the paper. I decided that I'm going to be drawing some cats today. I really just feel like drawing whatever comes to mind and whatever makes me happy. I currently don't feel like doing anything crazy and outlandish but uh, just a, a simple like guilty pleasure drawing of some cute cats all over this page I think would be a really fun video. So as you can see I'm just sketching out a little kitty cat here just uh, curled up in a little ball and he's going to be asleep and I think it's going to be very very cute. So you saw earlier that I am going to be using my Copic markers and colored pencils as well and that is the art supply choice of today and yeah let's complete this little kitty cat sketch. Okay, so we have a nice sketch here and I've also lightened it with my eraser and I'm just going to go in here as you can see with a grey Copic marker, Copic, Copic, however you like to say it and um, I'm just adding in some layers for some colour and I've decided for this kitty cat that it is going to be a grey stripey cat. I think that they're just very cute and I would love to own a grey stripey cat one day. I think they are, I don't know, the, the, the colouring is very pretty. So let's go in and continue this and see how this kitty cat turns out. So now we have a nice foundation here. I do have some grey on this kitty cat and you can see the stripes starting to come in but I think I'm going to switch over to colour pencil now to uh, really finalise some of these details and give this kitty cat a sort of wispy kind of fur coat. Kind of like, like, a, um, like a Maine Coon kitty. Now I just want to add some highlights here and there with a white coloured pencil and I'm also adding some whiskers onto this cat and I think it is done and we can continue on to the next cat. So for this next one I kind of want to experiment a little bit with the art style. I don't want to have all of these cats in the same art style, I want to experiment a bit and I actually want to do a, a cat that is similar to a previous cat that I've drawn quite a while ago. I did a sort of an art challenge with um, colors and I used a pure black for the cat and I had it jumping amongst some pumpkins and that is one of my favorite artworks that I have created actually so I want to make a kitty cat that uh, is similar to that one but obviously slightly simplified so we have it sitting on the pumpkin and we're gonna have this cat a pure black cat and it's pretty much block colored and pure black except its yellow eyes and I think it's just going to be adorable look at the little sort of tilted head that I have here I think this one's going to be really fun and um, quite simple as well but uh, satisfying so let's dive into it Okay, so I had a really cool idea. You know how cats like to scratch furniture? Well, I decided the pumpkin that this cat is uh, sitting on would have been scratched by this cat. And it's almost like a jack-o'-lantern style where it's like, like a face in the pumpkin, but instead of a face, it's just claw marks because this kitty cat is chaotic. Look at its face. Honestly, I really love this one though, and I can't wait to continue. Uh, uh, finish drawing this pumpkin so let's get into it so I decided to add a leaf onto this pumpkin and I think that it added a really nice splash of color of green and uh, yeah I'm just really happy with this one and let's continue and make another cat so for this kitty cat, I'm actually decided to draw a cat which is a little bit famous online. Uh, if you 
have TikTok and you love watching cat videos, you've probably come across Melon Be Smellin. And this is just a kitty cat that uh, its owner has uh, filmed it uh, smelling various foods to see if she likes it or if she doesn't and I just think that she's super cute and uh, yeah this one's gonna be really fun so let's dive straight in and draw melon be smelling So here she is in all her glory and I think she turned out adorable and uh, yeah so let's continue and draw another kitty cat. So for this one I actually want to try and draw a cat stretching. Um, it's a very interesting pose and I think it would just be adorable for it to be like stretching its little arms out. Maybe its eyes are like squinting slightly because it's a good stretch and its tail is like up or something like that. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do this one a brown kitty cat because I just want a nice variety of colours on uh, this sketchbook spread. So let's see how this kitty cat turns out. Okay, so I'm actually really loving the way this one turned out. I was going to add stripes, but I don't think I will now because it kind of looks like the chocolate colored uh, British short hair or maybe British medium hair. I'm not too sure because it does look a little bit fluffy, but um, yeah, I just think its eyes are really cute and the way that its little expression where it's stretching, I just think it turned out very nice, especially the uh, little toes at the front there, the little paw pads, uh, well not the pads because you can't see the pads, but the little toes look very cute. So for our next fluff ball, I think I'm going to be uh, drawing a cat that is laying on its back all playfully as if there's like a toy being um, like shaken above it. <laughs> I want to have its like little paws sticking up really cute and I want to make this kitty cat really fluffy and almost like shaggy and um, like a ginger moggy and I think it's going to turn out very adorable. Hopefully this one is kind of similar to my cat pumpkin although I don't plan on adding any white patterns to, to this cat. Just a, a fluffy ginger kitty cat. Oh my god you guys I just love this one so much look at its little eyes it looks so happy but also so goofy <laughs> the way it's like face is sort of distorted because it's like like laying back and sort of looking up I love it I think it's so cute it definitely reminds me of my cat pumpkin so next I want to draw a kitty with uh, sort of Siamese markings and I want to make this one a kitten just because I think it's going to turn out very cute and I am using a reference for this one because I just want to make sure that I've got the markings perfectly and I'm really excited about this one so let's see how it goes. I might have to do a few layers of um, sort of browns and creams to sort of get that nice little gradient where it's like nose and it's like feet and tail and ears are darker but we have the lighter uh, sort of coloring on its body and uh, yeah I just love this kind of cat and I think it looks very cute so let's continue Oh my goodness guys, look at this little one. I think that this one is probably my favorite one yet in the sketchbook spread. I just love the way that its little eyes and its little mouth turned out. And um, I really like the sort of fur texture that I got around and um, just the colors that I chose for the pencil liner. I just think it turned out so cute. Okay, so after that one now, I kind of want to do a cat's face sort of poking in on the corner of this page here to sort of fill a little bit more empty space and have a sort of chaotic playful look of this cat just like poking its head in view looking at you and uh, yeah I think it's a cool idea so let's continue this little cat's face. Thank you. 
So I decided to make this one a tabby and I just think it turned out very very cute and uh, yeah I really like it so let's continue on and uh, draw more cats. So for this next one I kind of want to do another art style similar to the black cat on the pumpkin because we can see that a lot of these cats are sort of detailed and fluffy and I kind of want to do another simple design one so that the black one isn't so different from the rest and I decided that uh, because we have one sitting on a pumpkin I thought what else can I have a cat sitting on that would make sense for where this um, sort of cat is located on the page and I decided to have the cat sitting on a swing that was suspended from above and that actually makes sense because the pumpkin's like underneath and then that cat is like above on a swing and I just thought that it would be cute and I think I'm gonna make this cat a like a calico cat just a little bit more detail but we're still going to try and get that sort of block color look but I'm not sure how it's going to end up with white because I'm gonna have to end up adding um, a little bit of line art uh, because we can't just have block white because uh, the page is a light color and that won't make sense. So let's just uh, continue with this experiment and see how this cat turns out. Okay, so I think this turned out very cute. It's definitely a different style to the cat underneath it because I had to add a little bit more detail to make things make sense. But I still really like it and it is a different art style. I decided to add some vines because it had a bit of green, which helped. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. So now you can see that I have turned the page and that's because I'm gonna do another cat peeking in from the corner and we are going to do another similar art style as before but I'm going to do a grey cat. I'm going to see if I can try and get away with less detail again but still have it look completely like a cat. A lot more angular like the uh, black cat with pointy ears and I think this one's going to turn out very cute. I'm tempted to have its paw coming out and uh, like like maybe swiping at the other cats and uh, yeah just see how this one goes and uh, yeah experimenting So I love this one and I definitely think it's closer to the art style of the black cat, especially with those piercing eyes staring into your soul. So next up I'm going to have another cat poking its head in the corner because I think that this little space here is going to be perfect for it. And I'm just going straight in with my markers because I am feeling daring at the moment and I actually decide to have uh, its little ear overlapping the pumpkin a little bit just a stylistic choice and uh, yeah I'm just continuing and I'm just using a black one here because I'm gonna do a little black kitty again because I just really love the look of black cats and I just think that they are so fun to draw So here's how this kitty cat turned out and honestly I love it. I love the highlights and I think it turned out really nice and the fur looks nice and shiny. Next up I want to fill this little spot here and I think it would honestly be perfect for some little toe beans. So I'm actually drawing a little kitty cat paw print with some fluffy white fur around it and little pink toe beans because that is just an adorable thing and I felt like the shape of it would be perfect for uh, that spot there and I think I was right. So next up I want to go back into this cat here because I feel like I could just add a little bit more detail especially onto the swing here. I don't know why I decided to leave it like sort of blank. I guess I was just trying to go with that sort of blocky style but uh, I'm noticing on the black cat the 
cat is a blocky style, but you can still see like lines and texture on the pumpkin and the leaf. So that's what I'm going into here. I'm just adding some little textural lines to the uh, seat of the swing. And I'm going to go in and add some texture and lines to the rope and the vines as well. Okay, so next up here, I'm going to do some more cat heads poking in on the sides of the page just because I think it's so cute and because I have a few on the other page, I want to have a few here as well and that's why we also have the uh, sketchbook upside down just so that I can access it better and of course it's easier to draw a cat's face right side up as uh, opposed to upside down. So I'm going to be doing two here and I'm going to draw them at the same time just because I think that's going to be a little bit quicker and uh, yeah I think it's gonna turn out good so you know what let's just do it So I think these turned out super adorable. I love the sort of reddish brown one as well as a tortoiseshell cat. I needed to draw a tortoiseshell cat in this sketchbook spread because I just think the tortoiseshell cats are so beautiful and unique and uh, some people don't like them but honestly I think that they're underrated. I love the look of tortoiseshell cats and uh, yeah so you know what? These ones are really good and they're one of my favorites as well. Okay, so for this next cat here, one of the last ones, <laughs> I'm actually going to draw it curled up in a little ball asleep, similar to the other gray cat, but this one is going to be a literal ball. And I just really love when cats do that. I just think that it is so cute. Can you guys tell that I love cats? I think it's a little bit obvious. <laughs> So I think this one turned out very cute. I really love the style of drawing like wispy hairs uh, with the colored pencils and uh, just the little like eyes sleeping. It kind of looks very similar to the first cat that I drew, but honestly, I love them both. So this last space here, it's kind of an interesting space for me to fill with a cat, but I think I'm gonna do it. And I could have just done like two cat heads there and called it a day, but I kind of wanted to see if I could put a whole cat's body in that spot. And honestly, I have the best idea. I'm gonna do a cat sort of stretching out, you know, you know when they lay down and they're like stretched out laying down and their back sort of curved. It's like those weird positions that cats can lay in that you, you just can't be comfortable. But I guess cats are very stretchy, <laughs> flexible. So I guess that is comfortable for them. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to draw in this last spot. And I just think it's going to end up very cute. So let's see how that goes. Honestly, I am very surprised with how this cat turned out. I can't believe it looks natural, <laughs> even though I sort of contorted its body in that position, but I guess that's how cats do be like. So I really love the way that this sketchbook spread turned out. Honestly, it was the best idea for me to just fill a whole sketchbook spread with cats. And it was super fun and I enjoyed it a lot. So anyways, here is the final results for this video and a whole like good look at this sketchbook spread and honestly, it was a lot of fun just as I said before. I definitely recommend filling a whole sketchbook spread with cats or maybe your favourite animal, whatever animal you love to draw or anything that you love to draw really. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favourite animal if you have one and uh, if you've drawn it recently. 
thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like and subscribe button to get your scribble fix in the future and i shall see you in my next video bye everyone